So today we're going to discuss a few more mysterious radio signals that as of today have no explanation. Radio signals that have been discovered in just the last few years and that currently just make no sense because of the way they're produced and because of certain parameters in them that current physics cannot explain. But specifically we're going to delve into one of the most intriguing and rapidly evolving fields in astrophysics, the study of long period transients or LPTs. Something that was only born a few years back and only as a result of new radio telescopes accidentally discovering these signals. And here we're talking about bizarre cosmic objects that present a significant mystery in how they generate these very powerful radio waves. And so in this video we're going to explore one of the most recent and I guess one of the most bizarre discoveries to date, the object scientists refer to as the unicorn but also discuss some of the latest significant discoveries and examine how these findings help us learn about the universe and help us understand various radio signals coming from across the universe. But I guess let's start with the very important side note or clarification. None of this seems to be artificial or coming from some kind of an alien civilization and all of this so far resembles natural signals we normally detect from things like pulsars. But the main reason these signals are mysterious is usually their length or their repetitive nature. But specifically, the actual mystery is in the name itself. They're called LPTs because they actually have very long periods that currently science just cannot explain. Usually in minutes, sometimes even in hours. But I guess let's discuss some of these new discoveries and talk about why this is important. And here we obviously have to start with the objects we do understand. Pulsars. Rotating neutron stars that emit very regular radio signals but whose signals usually repeat with a frequency of milliseconds or sometimes tens of seconds, but never longer than that. And that's because based on modern physics and the understanding of how these signals are produced, which is actually the result of the rotation of the neutron star, it's actually believed that once these neutron stars start to spin much, much slower, they're going to become radio silent and produce nothing else. Which is why in our galaxy we seem to only see a few thousand pulsars and not billions like we would expect if every single neutron star was emitting something. On top of this, we have another mystery referred to as FRBs, fast radio bursts. Very intense, short-lived radio signals, normally lasting just milliseconds and normally only happening once. The first one was detected in 2007 and well, as of 2025, they actually still don't have a very good explanation. But now we have something that seems to be even more bizarre. A distinct class of radio signals characterized by ultra-long rotation periods, usually in minutes or in hours. And they were only discovered because a lot of radio telescopes were collecting so much data that it finally became much easier to see the bigger picture where a lot of these signals were finally seen. And so unlike other radio signals, these unusual sporadic and infrequent emissions don't really make a lot of sense and also present a challenge when trying to study them and when trying to detect them. And so when it comes to pinpointing the source of these radio signals, at the moment it's just impossible. Especially because a lot of them have been actually discovered deep within our galaxy and amidst a dense field of stars, making it very challenging to precisely determine what was generating these bizarre radio waves. But there was actually a relatively small breakthrough a few months back. We've discussed this in one of the previous videos in the description, but here a discovery of this particular object, which was obviously also an LPT, made it slightly easier to identify its nature. It was found on the outskirts of the Milky Way within the constellation of Pupis, and only approximately 5,000 light years away from us, making this a relatively close radio signal compared to the ones discovered previously. And so even though the signal here repeated every 3 hours and lasted for anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds, which at that time made it the longest signal detected, by using the additional observations from the Meerkat radio telescope and the SOAR observatory in Chile, Associate Professor Natasha Hurley Walker and the team from Australia was able to identify the spectrum of this object, discovering that it seemed to be some kind of a star, and specifically an M-type star, which we usually associate with red dwarfs. But this didn't make much sense because we don't expect any star to produce such an energetic emission with the initial conclusion being that this must be a binary system with very likely some kind of a white dwarf orbiting around a red dwarf. And the period in this case was very likely in their orbit. And so here the suggestion linked this to a binary origin similar to another system known as AR Scorpii, a known white dwarf red dwarf pulsar system 
that basically creates these emissions by doing what you see in this video. It excites the star by bombarding it with its powerful jets. But building on these initial discoveries, now researchers discovered something else really bizarre. An unusual cosmic object called Chime J1634-44, although now simply referred to as the Unicorn. Mostly because of its very bizarre, very unusual and unexplained traits. Here this was achieved by using the Canadian Hydrogen Intensity Mapping Experiment and the Green Bank Telescope, as well as the Very Large Array and the NASA's X-ray Observatory known as SWIFT. And so why exactly is this called Unicorn and what's so strange about this? Well here the reason this kind of challenges current scientific understanding is because this is the only radio signal that seems to be spinning up. Or basically its radio emissions seem to be getting shorter and shorter and shorter. Which is strange because normally for a white dwarf or a neutron star when they emit radio signals they technically do the opposite, they slow down. And so this spin-up phenomenon strongly suggests that this object seems to be changing somehow and is very likely affected by something else in its orbit. So this is maybe also some kind of a binary object again. But if so this has to be a binary system where the orbit is shrinking. Because that's the only way we can explain why the emissions seem to be happening faster and faster. And the only way the orbit can shrink is through some kind of a gravitational wave interaction. And so here if gravitational waves cause these objects to come closer and closer, this could potentially explain why the radio signals are happening faster and faster. But there is something else bizarre about these emissions and something we've never seen before. Every single one of these signals is what's known as polarized, but specifically it contains 100% circular polarization, meaning that every single radio wave coming from here has a perfectly spiral shape. And that's also never been seen before, especially with such consistency. No known neutron star, white dwarf or really anything else has ever been observed to always exhibit the level of circular polarization observed with every radio burst. And that means that here the mechanism producing these radio waves might be fundamentally different from anything we've seen so far in any other object. As a matter of fact, currently there is no way to explain why exactly this polarization even exists. And last but not least, there's also something else going on here. This object has a very complex periodicity. And complex because it seems to have at least two separate periods. The first one is roughly around 14 minutes long. So basically every 841 seconds there is a radio signal coming from here. But there seems to be a second period of 4206 seconds, which is precisely five times longer. And here we don't really know why, but I guess maybe there is also something else in orbit. Or maybe this is some kind of a natural pulsation coming from inside this object. And so at the moment, this is probably the most mysterious radio signal we've seen in the last few years. And there's really no explanation for what's happening here, what sort of an object this is, and why we're seeing so many changes and so many periods, or so much bizarre polarization. So it definitely deserves that name of Unicorn. But we can obviously make certain conclusions based on the observations. For example, when it comes to the polarization, this can only come from some kind of a magnetic environment around this object, suggesting a super complex magnetic field configuration never before seen in any object out there. And though examples of linear polarizations transforming into circular polarizations have been observed in other objects, such as the radio emitting magnetar known as XTE J1810-197, in this particular case the polarization is not always so circular and does differ with time. But at least this definitely hints on this being the effect of the magnetic field and not something else we've never seen before. Likewise, when it comes to these changes or drifting elements, something very similar has been observed in fast radio bursts, suggesting some kind of a shared emission mechanism or some kind of a similar propagation effect. And since fast radio bursts have also been suggested to be caused by magnetars, here we have at least a few hints suggesting that this is maybe a magnetar as well. And so here, if this is a magnetar, it would essentially be a highly magnetized, very young neutron star containing extremely powerful electromagnetic fields in excess of what we usually observe around a typical pulsar. And so in this case, the explanation for these bizarre LPTs would be that this is a bunch of ultra-long period magnetars that just do something a little bit different from a typical fast radio burst or from a typical neutron star. But the overall question here is, so what do these signals tell us about various radio signals out there and what do these discoveries mean for our understanding of radio signals and signals from pulsars? Well first of all this kind of expands our classification of these transients. 
This indeed seems to be a new type of a transient or a new type of a signal emitter that has never been seen before and seems to be caused by entirely different mechanisms. At the same time, this kind of challenges our existing models. Especially because right now there is no explanation for how such compact objects can generate such extreme radio emissions. And though we have seen some other emitters, like for example rotating radio transients, that can generally produce emissions one second or longer, in this case LPTs can even last hours, which at the moment is somewhat impossible to explain. But when we try to compare these objects, there are still some unifying observations. For example, the fact that polarization in this case does suggest very strong, very unique magnetic fields that seem to be present around most of these objects. And at the same time, by discovering these exotic objects or these very bizarre unexplainable phenomena takes us just a little bit closer to understanding the entire universe. And while these findings may not have immediate implications, a lot of these scientific breakthroughs are going to become groundwork for future technological advancements and of course our understanding of everything around us, expanding humanity's knowledge base. And so by detecting these very sporadic distant signals, it pushes the boundaries of radio astronomy and international scientific collaboration. But just the fact that these objects even exist demonstrates the unexpected diversity of cosmological phenomena, reminding us of how much more there is to discover and how little we still understand about the cosmos. But obviously once we have more explanations, more discoveries or more conclusions, we'll discuss this again in some of the future videos. Until then, check out some of the previous videos in the description, thank you for watching, subscribe, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel on Patreon where you can find additional videos, videos without any ads and can DM me directly, maybe support this channel by joining the channel membership where you can get early access and a few extra features, or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt you can find in the description. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.